Hey guys, what's up? This is James, and I'm going to do a video for you guys of me talking instead of an artistic one. I'm going to show you my camera collection. First camera we have is a Canon um, SureShot waterproof one. It's is a pickup that I did today. I was at the Salvation Army, and I got it, and I thought it was really cool. I have not used it yet. Next camera I'm going to show you runs for about $32 on Photo Jojo. Got mine for five bucks. It is the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim. There's film in here. Black and white film. T Max 100. Yeah, I only shoot T Max. Anyway, alright, next camera I'm going to show you has film in it because I opened it. Last point. Um, This is my Canon AE1. Sorry, it is my Canon AE1. Um, I got this at a Goodwill long ass time ago for like four dollars. I'm I'm a camera collector slash addict. Next one I'm gonna show you is kind of my pride and joy. Um, in terms of uh, instant cameras, is this is my Polaroid automatic. 340 land camera I have the battery in it and it is like the battery is like 20 bucks I cried when I had to get that so here you go this is awesome little camera that I think everyone should have um let's see next one I want to show you guys is my again I found this at an antique store like 7 bucks it is the one, the only, yes, as you can see, it is the Polaroid SX-70 LAN camera alpha one model two. So this is the one, this is the, uh, doesn't work because there's no film in there, but this is like one of the OG, OG kind of cooler cameras that I had. Um, you can put 600 film in here. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of cool shit with this camera. Kind of piss Polaroid will stop making instant film because they're stupid. It's an awesome camera. I haven't used this in a long ass time. Alright, next one I'm gonna show you. Awesome camera. Got this one again, like Goodwill or something like that. Like four dollars. This is the Polaroid Land Pronto Land camera. Um God, I'm, this is the, uh, this uses SX-70 film, if you can't see that. So, this, the SX-70 camera and the Pronto use the same film. Now, funny thing with this thing, um, on top of here, I'll show you guys. Top right here, that is actually a flash bar. And lucky for me, I found one at a Goodwill or our community thrift store we have here for like 99 cents. <laughs> again, <laughs> Polaroid, make it some film again, please. So I can buy all this shit. Oh, yeah, the strap is broken. So, but yes, Polaroid, please make film again. Because I'm not paying 30 bucks for the Impossible Project film. I'm sorry. As cool as it is, like, oh, we're going to, you know, buy the last, you know, whatever you call it, like, the last machine for the Polaroid. We're going to make our own Polaroid, and it's going to be cooler. I mean, all power to you. This is an awesome little camera that I have. Let me take the film out first. This is the, I have no idea what it's called. Let's just call it the ID, um, the D2002 uh, Pro is pretty much like one of those, um, like, cameras that take four pictures at once, and it's not working all of a sudden, but yeah, this is a cool little camera to have, um, it can do like, 
it has a flash, but you can also take the flash off. There's a little thing on the menu for it. Awesome, awesome little fun camera. I don't really collect that much like toy cameras, but I was like, the one I got this was like, at the time it was like $20. I don't know. Um, I think it was Sammy's. No, don't quote me. It was, it was some camera store in Los Angeles and Hollywood. It's not Sammy's. It's not um, Westwood camera. It's some other place. I don't know if they want to. I think it's Freestyle. Maybe. I think it's Freestyle. Don't quote, don't quote me. Like, no, it's not. There's no freestyle store. This is some camera store in Hollywood. And I'm going to show you the monster. Well, one of the monsters I have. Here we go. It is my Hasselblad um, 500C medium format camera. This thing is a beast. Um, I... This camera I kind of go out and shoot with every once in a blue moon. I'm going to tilt my camera down. Um, it's an awesome little camera. I'm going to look into the lens. Focus it. I'm going to be a complete dork here and be like, oh, another dimension. It's an awesome little camera. You probably can't see anything in here. Oh, you can. See, there's me. Yeah. But anyway, it's a cool little camera. <sighs> like $2,000. I like this camera a lot. Um, I don't have a, I don't, it's the only lens I got for it. I think this is the, what is this? Good. The 800? I have no idea. Sorry guys, I am horrible with like media format lenses and all that kind of jazz. Um, but this is the only medium format camera I have. I do not have a Hasselblad. I do not have a Mimia. I have this is like the only <laughs> like 120 um, camera that I ha own. Um, I got this and it has a kind of like a light meter on the side. Um, normally it doesn't come with this, but mine did, and I was like, I need this because I'm retarded and I can't do it with actual light meter. So I just and when I shoot with this thing, I kind of wing it. What the light meter tells me. And what my like I, um, ASA is set at or ISO set at, I, I just really wing it. Um, it's cool, awesome camera. Um, you need a sturdy ass tripod to take pictures with this though. Um, you could take it manually, like with your hands and stuff. But I mean, if you want some, if you want good pictures, you take it with a you know tripod. God, guys, all right. Let me show you, show you one more digital camera. Right, I'm going to show you one more 35mm camera I have. And I'll show you my digital. Hold on. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, this here is... Um, my Canon ESO Ti 35 millimeter camera it has film in it. Um, I got this in 17. I am 25 now, so this has lasted me in quite a while. Um, I love shooting film. Uh, I shoot probably more film than I do digital. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I shoot, actually, no, I shoot about the same, um, digital and 35 and medium format film. I shoot all, about, I shoot all about the, like, same amount. Um, I just like film more. Maybe in, in another video, I'll discuss it, um, why I shoot film a lot more than digital. But I'll show you, like, the only, okay, one of the only lenses I have, like, I have um, this baby right here. This is like when I got my ESO uh, TI. I have. I was like, I need a fucking lens for my camera. And fucking, I got, sorry guys, I got stuff on my um, screen. But anyway, I was like, I need, I need one lens. 
And so I got the 15 millimeter fisheye for Canon. This thing is like my baby. I <laughs> like I got this for like six hundred dollars, and um, I don't think I'm ever gonna give this up as much as much people as like as much as they love the fisheye. And they're like, oh, it's so cool. This gets really boring after a while. Um, if this is the only lens like you decide to buy, because this is could this could probably buy me like another accessory for my camera, but I decided to get this. And I got this after I got my um, TI. Like I got my TI for my seventeenth birthday, and for my eighteenth or yeah, for my eighteenth birthday, I got my. Um, my fish eye. Oh, for Christmas, sorry. For Christmas, got my fish eye. I think. I'm not sure. And so, that's like, I showed you guys all my 35. I'll show you like the one digital camera I have. And I'll probably get a lot of shit for this, but it's kind of expensive camera. But I'll tell you why. I, I kind of begged my parents to get it for me. But uh, here it is. Alright, so I have the Canon ESO EOS, sorry, I've been saying ESO all this time, um, ESO, this is the Canon 5D Mark II um, with a 35 to 80mm um, lens, which came on the TI when I got it. Am I saying that right? Shit. Sorry guys, this is like so unprofessional. Is it the TI? Yeah, it's the TI. I'm not my beat. Down, no, down, no, down, no. Alright, um, so I got this, um, because I had the original Rebel, um, like digital camera that came out, and I had that, um, for like four years, and it recently just kind of crapped out on me, and I was like, I need a new camera, and I want full frame, and the uh, 5D Mark II was the only one that had full frame, and, because I wanted to put my fisheye on it, I was like, I need full frame for my fisheye, so you can take some awesome pictures, yeah, anyway, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, oh, maybe maybe in another video I'll like, show you some examples of like the quality of the 5D. I'm holding this as like it's so nonchalant. Like yeah, it's whatever. I mean, you compare it to the TI, like body wise, this is you know fucking heavy. This is like shit. But again, I love this camera. <laughs> Um, I love, I love these cameras equally. I want to say, I don't know, I'll say this for the next video, but, um, like them equally awesome cameras, and I'll tell you why, possibly in another video. Why is it shaking? Alright guys, that's it. Um, kind of wish I had some, like, awesome, like, like outro music and then like a logo like how all the other YouTubers have it but I don't know that's it for me guys there's my camera collection yeah